So a little while back, we took a look at Real Link's Argus 2 camera, which was a good camera for the price. Well, recently they just came out with the Argus 3. This has a new design look and it has a built-in spotlight that's gonna give us colored night vision. In today's video, we're gonna go over the features and take a look at the quality of this camera. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So the Argus 3, this camera is a 1080p camera. It was redesigned from the previous Argus 2 that we had last year. And this one comes with a built-in spotlight that's gonna be giving us some colored night vision. A couple other of features, if we take a look at the website, this does connect to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It does have a rechargeable battery, which is actually built into the camera, so you cannot remove this battery. It is always going to be in the camera. It does have an optional solar panel, so if you do want to, you can add a solar panel to this thing. Solar panel comes in pretty cheap. This camera is also IP65 weatherproof. We've got the standard stuff like two-way audio, PIR motion sensor, remote access from anywhere so you can always check your footage no matter where you are. And then it also does have a slot for a micro SD memory card. Now, in addition to that, they do have options for cloud storage, which we'll show you here. They got three different plans for you to choose from. But if you don't wanna go with that, you're always good with free local storage on the camera. Now let's take a look at what comes in the box, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's dive into the box. All right, so here's everything we have in the box. We've got the instruction manuals, stickers, decals, everything in here for setting everything up. We've got a power cable that's gonna plug into the camera. We've got a strap, so this can be used to strap the camera to a tree or a metal object or cement or something that you can't screw into. So that's kind of a nice little mount that it comes with right there. We've got a couple of other mounts. So these are ones that you can screw into. So we've got that one and this one right here. So those are a couple of mounts. Got some bags of screws and anchors. And then we have the camera itself. So here is the camera. So I can already tell you right now, I love the look of this camera so much more than the Argus 2. It's just got a better look to it, a better feel. Um, definitely like this one more. And that is what comes in the box. All right, now let's take a closer look at the camera and what it's offering. At the very top here, we see that we have got two spotlights up here. In between that is going to be your status light. Below that, we've got the 1080p camera, and then you see a small dot below that. That is going to be the daylight sensor. Now around each side of the camera, we've got six infrared LEDs. Underneath the camera is the microphone, and then we've also got the PIR motion sensor down here. If we take a look at the bottom, open it up, it's got a rubber coating for weatherproofing. We have got our switch to turn the camera on and off. We've got our micro SD card down here. Flipping it over to the back, we've got a quarter 20 mount so you can mount this thing up. And we have got our USB port back here. So this is what you're gonna be using to either charge the camera from the power cable that came in the box or using the solar panel to plug into the back of the camera here. And then underneath that, we have got the speaker for the camera. So the speaker is in the back, not a big fan of that, but that's where they placed it. Now I wanted to cover some of the features of the app. We've got the Argus 3 loaded up here. This is a live view of what it looks like right now. We've got push to talk here, we've got playback. So this is going to be all the events that it has recorded everything broken down by the time it was recorded and how many seconds each clip is. Now, one problem I have with this is that there's no thumbnail, so I don't really know what is happening in the clip unless I click on each individual one. But we've also got options for playing live view. We've got speaker, taking a picture, recording what we're seeing on the screen. Now, we've got an option here for Fluent and clear. So clear is gonna be 1080p. Fluent is gonna be a lower resolution that we'll take a look at in the settings. So I'm gonna tap on the gear up here so we can see what our local storage is. Battery is at 100%. Network, the display. So let's take a look at the display right here. We've got quality. And what I was mentioning before is we have clear, which is gonna be our 1080p. And then we've got fluent and our options for Fluent are only gonna be 360p. So a very, very low resolution on that Fluent. It's going to allow it to stream a lot better, 
but not something that we're typically going to want to use, but you can change that in there. We've got things like auto flicker, auto day and night, camera name, date, and watermark. You can place those in anywhere you want to, so that's kind of a nice feature right there. We've got our motion sensor turned on, camera recording turned on, set our post motion recording duration through here, setting up push notifications, so if you do want push notifications turned on, turn them on that way. This does have a siren, so we can set the siren if we want the siren turned on. It'll go off if motion is detected. I'm gonna leave that off. We've got email alerts, and then sharing the camera, setting up time lapsed, and then we've got advanced recordings in here. All right, now that we've seen some of the features in the app, let's take a look at what kind of quality this camera is capable of. Okay, I also wanted to show the difference between the Argus 2 and the Argus 3. So that is the difference right there. This one is more round, looks more pill-shaped, where that one has uh, more of a traditional camera look to it. So that is the difference between the Argus 2 and Argus 3. All right, we are doing an audio and video test with the Argus 3. This is what it looks and sounds like. A couple other things that I want to mention during this test right here is that this camera does have a siren built into it and it can do time lapses. All right, so now that we've seen what it looks like during the day, let's take a look at what the image looks like at nighttime. Don't let the camera get you. Don't let the camera get you. Ah. Don't let the camera get you. The camera's gonna see you. Ah, it is bright. All right, so this is a night shot of what the camera looks like with the colored night vision and two bright spotlights shining right in our eyeballs. This is very bright to look at. It's actually hurting my eyes a little bit, but this is what it looks like at night. <laughs> All right, what did you guys think about the quality of that camera? Personally, I was really impressed with it. I was shocked that I was getting that kind of quality, that kind of audio, everything synced up, it looked good, and the camera itself is at a super affordable price. Now something that I liked but then kind of didn't like about the camera is that there are no base stations, so you don't have to worry about having an extra hub base station somewhere in the house that this thing is connecting to. But the downfall of that is that local storage is saved on the camera itself. If you place this camera in a location where it can be stolen, then they're gonna be taking all the footage with it. So that is one downfall with the camera. However, you do have the option of purchasing one of their subscription plans for the cloud backup. So at least there is a way around that if you need there to be. Another thing that I was not a big fan of with this camera was that the speaker was on the back of the camera and not on the bottom. I feel like on the bottom you could get a little bit better audio quality with the two-way communication and uh, it would be nice if they moved the SD card to the back, but in this case they didn't. It's not the worst thing ever. You can definitely live with it, but I love the image quality that it's putting out. I love that spotlight. It is the brightest spotlight, way brighter than the Arlo spotlight that we've tested in previous videos. But after seeing the footage, what are your thoughts on this camera? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. If you guys wanna know anything more about Reolink's Argus 3, check out the link below to reviews.org. If you guys wanna see more from me, check out my own channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of cool tech reviews. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, let me know that you liked it. As always, I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org, and I'll see you guys in the next video.